Good evening. The man charged with beating four-year-old James Dunkley to death admitted to the crime when he pled guilty. But now he wants to change his mind and back out of the plea deal. Here's News 13's Ariana Kraft with the latest. How do you plea regarding the charge? Guilty. That was Zarek Marquez at the end of March, pleading guilty to intentional child abuse resulting in death in the murder of James Dunkley. The four year old was found beaten to death at Marquez's apartment near Louisiana and Central in December 2019. James and his mom were staying at Marquez's place, and the boy looked up to him. This is what Marquez told police at the scene. <laughs> He said, I don't feel good, Dad. The autopsy confirmed he'd been abused for months. Marquez was taken into custody months later. I'm placing you under arrest, okay? In the plea agreement Marquez originally took in March, he agreed to serve a life sentence, which comes with the possibility of parole after 30 years. Because of his conduct by beating him, over a matter of months and resulting in at least 50 different injuries to James Dunkley that he caused the death of James Dunkley. But according to the motion filed to withdraw his plea, Marquez claims he thought he'd be released after 30 years and that his attorney at the time did not explain that parole is only a possibility. The state filed a 29-page response to Marquez's motion, stating there was no indication that Marquez misunderstood or was unaware of the terms of the plea agreement. The state is asking the court to deny the move and proceed to sentencing. Ariana Kraft, KRQE News 13. Zarek Marquez's new attorney declined to comment on this motion to withdraw his guilty plea. His next hearing is set for September 27th.